In the 1800s, there was no such thing as handcrafted or artisan goods, and nothing was being curated. There were just some good people making good products. But in 1803, a few things began to change. The first public library opened in Connecticut. The first public railway was constructed in London. And the first known mass production began in Portsmouth Dockyard as the Royal English Navy required more pulley blocks for their ships. Many, though, attribute mass production and its success to Henry Ford and his Model T, which was released over 100 years later in 1908. These vehicles were known for their craftsmanship and reliability. Mr. Ford once wrote, I will build a motor car for the great multitude. It will be constructed of the best materials, by the best men to be hired, after the simplest designs that modern engineering can devise. This concept revolutionized the world. It gave the masses more buying power and solidified the middle class in America. Mass production became the face of the golden era. Rosie the Riveter became known far and wide for her part in helping the war effort. Culture appreciated mass production because of its high quality and low cost. But, unfortunately, your grandfather's assembly line no longer exists. The craftsmanship in mass production is far too uncommon now. People have become content with purchasing the same item over and over again, expecting it to just fall apart. That is, until recently, there has been a slow and steady return to what was. We have begun to realize the beauty, art, and necessity for well-crafted goods. Small shops are beginning to open up where good people are creating good products. The biggest influence on my life was my godmother. She was a mentor to both me and my parents. She taught me a lot of things, but the one thing that still resonates with me today was to be good and to be generous. When I started this company, it was easy to name it after her and base it on her lifestyle. The idea of the generous heart means we make everything with integrity, high quality, and excellence. And I feel like our products reflect that. Everything is cut, punched, and sewn in-house by hand. It gives us the confidence in knowing that every single product we sell will last a lifetime. Whether you are hiking, biking, flying, or driving, we design every product with intentionality for any kind of wear and tear. Florida Lisa takes pride in the longevity of its products. We guarantee everything for life. If any error in our craft is the cause of your product malfunctioning, we'll be glad to fix it. That's generosity. And that's Florida Lisa.